Hi, my name is Jerry, and today I'm going to be checking out this Schecter Reaper 6 FR. When Schecter first unveiled the Reaper series, I was honestly sort of shocked. I mean, compare this to like, you know, the rest of their lineup. Uh, this is just kind of completely different. It's it's more modern and sleek and a, a kind of aggressive and just, just beautiful. I mean, look at the top. It's just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta have one of these. So going through all of the specs of this guitar, starting with the neck, you can see that it has this awesome reverse style headstock uh, with Schecter tuners. Uh, from there, you have an ebony fretboard with perloid inlays. It's got this really cool kind of reverse style. It starts over here and it ends up over there. Um, and then on the back, as you can see, this is a maple neck with uh, walnut strips. And it's got carbon fiber reinforcement rods in it. A 25 and a half inch scale length. Uh, the profile of the neck is like, it's ultra thin uh, C shape. Like this thing is like, it's, it's pretty thin, a little thinner than I was used to actually. 24 extra jumbo frets in a 14 inch radius. Now going over the body of the guitar, you can see that it has this really beautiful, uh, what they call satin skyburst finish. Uh, this also comes available in charcoal and inferno burst finishes. I'll put that on the screen somewhere. Um, it has a flat top with kind of a, a beveled edge where you can see the uh, swamp ash peeking through. Uh, the top is made out of burl and you can see that. Here's the rest of this really beautiful swamp ash. 
Um, the neck is an ultra axis set neck profile. Um, it almost kind of looks like it's, it would be a neck through, but it's just, it's set. And it has this really nice curve to really let you, you know, get to those upper frets with pretty much no effort. Looking over the hardware, we have a 1500 series Floyd Rose with the push-in bar, uh, which is actually my favorite style of bar for Floyd Roses. One volume, one tone. Uh, the tone is a push-pull pot, which allows you to coil split the pickups, which are Schecter Diamond Decimator pickups. Um, you have a three-way switch, and I think that's it. Now, I actually quite love the uh, Diamond Decimator pickups that come with the Reaper series of guitars. They are a little darker sounding than your traditional high output humbucker, which these are very high output, by the way. Uh, but it, it, they still have a lot of articulation, which is great for rhythms. And because they're a little darker sounding, they're great for leads. You know, your leads don't end up being so ear piercing and pokey sounding. So they're really great for those applications. <laughs> But really the bread and butter for me is when you coil split them. Like they have excellent coil split sounds, especially my favorite is just in the middle when you coil split and do that kind of mid gain sort of, you know, math rocky, whatever you want to call it sound. It's just, they're perfect for that kind of sound. And it's also, you know, super crystal clear and, and beautiful when it comes to cleans. It's, this is the magic sound in this guitar. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to mention too is that this guitar is just, it's very lightweight and super comfortable to play. Like, like I mentioned earlier, the neck is very thin and it actually took me a little while to get used to because I was kind of shocked by like how thin it is. I'm used to like the regular thin C neck that you would find on like a, a Hellraiser, for example. Um, but once I got used to it, um, it's, it's just super speedy and uh, super shreddy. It's, it's perfect for those applications. You can also get the Reaper in a couple different styles. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I have the FR Floyd Rose version, but they do sell an FRS version that comes with the Sustainiac and the switches uh, built in for that instead of the uh, neck diamond decimator pickup. There's also a really cool multi-scale seven string version. And of course there's the regular hardtail version, except that one you can get in also Aurora Burst and Forest Burst. And I think those are just exclusive to Musicians Friend and Guitar Center. I'll double check, but I'll, <laughs> I'll make sure I get that information correct for you. And I really don't have much more to say about this. Like, like I said before, it's super speedy, super comfortable to play. It's lightweight, it's got a lot of attitude, and this will probably be my number one for a little while. Friends, if you do want to try and support me, I did put out my debut solo EP a little while ago. It's called Great Unknown, and I'm quite proud of how it came out. So if you would take the time to check it out, I'll link it somewhere. It's on YouTube and Spotify and all those fancy places. And if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, I'm on all the social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on TikTok even, I'm on... 
MySpace, not really. Uh, but all of that stuff I'll have linked down in the description. And for more guitar videos like this one, you can head over to my channel, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.